Okay, so we can skiva in. I got to look around for uh, any recruits Patsy may have come in contact with here. Argonian, just eating. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Uh, let's see here. Um, any other rumors or something you've heard lately? Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Falk Firebeard. Okay, strange name, but uh... Remember the Winking Skeever next time your foot's sore. Yes, sir. I'm going to assume that means if I want to get a room here, you're not going to be a bigot about it and let Khajiit tap in here. So that's pretty good. Who are you? Who are you? You don't look like a warrior type. Although you are carrying a strange weapon there. Maybe she could be of use. Oh, she just walked away from me. Excuse me, ma'am. Hmm? Uh, would you be interested in joining the um, effort at Helgen? No? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's not much to say. You, interested in joining the effort at Helgen? Need something? No, not you either. And you? Need something? No. Are you? Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. Hmm. I've been traveling all over. Have you ever been to Helgen? Where the dragon attacked? We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies, but no real news. Hmm. And yeah, the rumors are true. Then we should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. Interesting, so you must be a Good local to talk to a fellow traveler. Lower f local Fletcher. Hmm? Joto. Hello? I am looking for experienced guards, perhaps to work in Helgen. How about you, Gajit? Uh... You here for the jobs we posted? Yes, the prey has finally found the hunter, no? Uh... I'm not your prey. Uh, but uh, let's see. I don't think you enjoy hunting me very much, though. No. Joto sees this. And this is good. But the hunter waits for you. Okay, so let's see here. Is, um, what are your qualifications, first off? The hunter is skilled in the sword and the bow. Oh, very good. Joto served many years aboard ships from elsewhere as deckhand and guard. Joto has many stories he could tell of wondrous places he has seen. Joto likes the night. Stars very pretty in Skyrim. Joto sees better at night. Can be... Very sneaky, then. We'll drive out the storm okay, so why aren't you sailing anymore, though? Oh, very bad, my last ship. Very, very bad. Sailors know like Joto's dog. Sailors kill Joto's dog and throw him in the sea. What? Your dog? Well, you know, no self-respecting Khajiit would have a dog, but, uh... Okay. Yes, Joto likes dogs. Dogs are pretty. Can you get Joto dog sometime? Uh, wait. Look, I'm not really here for... Yeah. I, what are you talking about creating your jaw? I'm crying out loud. Um, yes, if I come across one, I'll, I'll let you know. So, um, you left your last, sh last ship, then why did you do that? Oh, sad. That ship, very bad. Joto leave and stay in Skyrim for a while. Look for work. Okay, so that's good. Um, I'm, I'm one looking forward to seeing you the action. If you could follow me to Helgen, or let's see here. Can you make it to Helgen on your own? Oh, like a test. And if the hunter make it there, we pass. Very clever. Yes. I personally feel it's very... Uh, Limiting to have 18 different people walking around and stuff. So are you gonna go or not? Yeah, he's gonna sit here. Uh, I suppose he's gonna go. 
But these flamethrowers, man, who are you? I've only been a part of the Red Wave's crew for a few weeks, but I've already learned to stay out of Captain Safia's way. Forget wine, women, and wealth. Give me a calm sea and a good book, and I'm happy. Oh, very strangely dressed. I interesting outfit. <laughs> I almost wish I had one of my own. Uh, let's see. Well, okay, local. Local bard. Yeah, about you? I'm getting on the first boat out of this accursed province. So you're leaving Sartor. I don't know about you, but I've got to get as far away from Skyrim as possible. Hmm. So what are you so afraid of? It was a cabin somewhere on the north bank of the White, near Riverwood. A kind old lady was living there. Or so I thought. She let me stay the night, but told me not to go into the cellar. Naturally, I got curious. Alright, so what do you find in that cellar? There was all sorts of oddities in there. I think she was a witch or a necromancer or something. In any case, I got out of that cellar and never stopped running. Hmm. I keep that in mind. Beware the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. Any other not you by blade or by spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. I don't need a personal guard would is pay my fee. Uh, so I'm not paying you that much of a fee. That's pretty high. Unless I was gonna have you before a bodyguard. Yes, I can understand, but what do you need? Can be as lethal as the spell. She does look deadlier still. The type you. one who wields both. And I think we found all we, we only found one recruit here. Very nice. If we get more. So how am I feeling here? Not too bad. Alright, let's just go and take a look around here. It's getting dark out there. Some of these stores might be closed. Some sort of clothing store. A coin or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. I'm sorry. Eh, heck, I should give you a coin. Spare some gold for a veteran? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Yes, yes. I don't like the idea of giving them money to, to spend it on booze, though. Yes. Uh, let's see here. This looks like a alchemy shop. I need to sell it somewhere. Hello, are you open or... Yes? Hello? You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to Whiterun? Uh, yes, actually, I have. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Hmm. Well, I haven't heard of her, but, um... I suppose I could try to get some information. I mean, I'm actually a Thane in Whiterun. I have a little bit of influence, so I could try talking. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Hmm. Okay. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. I can imagine so. You don't seem to have any kind of a shopping option here. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. It's good to see a fresh face. And I find that you a bit strange. You wouldn't to come from White Run, would you? Yes, I just told you I did. Is there some other salesperson here I'm, I'm missing? I wonder if stores like this are having their prices undercut by the Khajiit caravans. And whether they will brook such behavior as profits dwindle. Hmm. I think that's sort of why they don't like us too much, because our uh, caravans do sort of do that sort of thing. Although I don't begrudge <laughs> our friends in doing that, though, making a profit. 
can I say? I would almost prefer to work with them. They just don't have a very good selection sometimes. Well, at any rate. Getting later and later. Man, you know what? I was going to stay here, sleep tonight, but um I say we go push on the dance door. Actually get to um not much to ask. Yes, and get to uh, Dawn Star here tonight. Well, actually, it'll probably be more like morning. And then by the time we get there, we'll have to sleep. Ah, so let's see here. Hopefully, that, car that uh, caravan thing didn't leave yet. Yes, um, I'd like to go to Donstar if we could. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Donstar. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Yes, yes. Okay, Kaidojo. Let's get going to Donstar. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. Yes, you're not kidding me. I hope it lasts too. There once was a hero named Ragnar. Oh, it's cold and still night out. Well, let's get indoors here. It's very, very cold out here. I think this time we will go in and get the room if they let us. Oh, wait a minute, though. I think I heard they are controlled by the... Uh, Storm clothes who don't Dawn like us star. much. Many believe this to be the end of the world. The ocean is nothing more than an empty space on a page, the end of a chapter, not a book. Hmm. I had heard that this land far, far to the north, beyond Skyrim and beyond Tamriel. I may be wrong. It's only a rumor. Only a rumor. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe we can at least try and get uh, a room. Maybe we can get a room. It's a curse. It has to be. I, I've got to get out of this town. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erander. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Dreams. Strange. Um, I don't think I want to get involved in dreams. <laughs> and an editorial note here. Um, since I did this with the Malrin character in the Season 1 roleplay, I'm not going to do this one here. But uh, let's see here. And I wonder if Patsy Woods, yeah. I envy you travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. I'd better get going. 